It's a watershed moment for musicians. Baby, we've got nothing in common. A song that would have taken years to make can now be generated in just a few minutes using artificial intelligence. Tech giants like Google, YouTube and Sony are launching AI tools that allow anyone to generate music based on a text prompt. But how does AI generate music? The technology is trained on a huge number of existing songs. Some artists have agreed for their work to be used, but there has been an influx of AI generators that are thought to have scraped music without the creator's consent. Many tech companies argue that training AI models on copyrighted works doesn't infringe rights because it's fair use. One composer and former leader of Stability AI's audio team resigned because he didn't agree with this thinking. And this position is essentially we can train on, we can train these generative AI models on whatever we want to, um, and we can do that without consent from the rights holders, from the people who actually created that content, who own that content. Stability AI's chief executive, Emad Mostak, says fair use supports creative development. Tom Spate, a singer-songwriter from London, is concerned about how a flood of AI-generated music could affect emerging artists. Something that I might have spent years or months working on could just go out the window like that, really, and I think that is kind of scary. And it also, you know, if, with your livelihood as well, the more that the market's saturated, the less you're going to get seen and heard. <laughs> Others have embraced AI to help with inspiration. For the Grammy-nominated producer Aaron Horn, AI has helped his creative process. Really some of the cool stuff that I've had out of AI, some of the generative AI plugins that will make sounds um, or drum beats or synth lines and like generating, trying to generate novel sounds and then use them in my production. Musicians through the ages have embraced technology, whether that's in using auto-tune to manipulate their voices or digital production tools to sample and repurpose music. In some ways, generative AI is no different, but to make sure that artists are benefiting and not suffering as a result of the technology, campaigners are calling for regulations to be put in place to protect them. When artists' work is used in these models, those artists have to be credited and compensated um, if they have given their consent. AI has the potential to transform music for the better. But if we play it wrong, it could be a threat to the work of human creators. Artie Nachipan, Sky News.